This is a simulation of a quality and production area we have built on our Second Life Island using gamification principles. The students navigate and interact with objects in the virtual world using their keyboard and mouse much like how you would in a role-playing video game. The purpose of the simulation is to build the same two parts as they would in the classroom, but within the Second Life environment. The students log into the Second Life Island with their avatar and click on the yellow box to receive a copy of the simulation. The instructor then shows them how to activate the quiz, which features a leveling system integrated into it, much like how a role-playing game does, indicating to the student the level the student has achieved. This display is unique to the student taking the quiz and is not shown to the other student's view or through the instructors. This number is also tied to which objects the student can interact with in the area, such as which questions are displayed on the screen, displaying relevant tools that are shown in their hand along with their assembled part progress, and whether they can click on certain machines. The heads-up display also features a comprehensive tutorial on how to use the buttons and features of the heads-up display. During the simulation, the students are quizzed in a number of different ways, such as the ability to read the blueprints of the parts, videos that depict real-life manufacturing processes in the assembly step, which are streamed from our YouTube channel, photographs of tool measurements and proper techniques, identifying the correct machine of the process being performed, and finally, choosing the correct button for the answer on the heads-up display. We have designed the quiz to be linear so that a group of students can visually see their peers' progress as well as simulate the experience of working in a real-life assembly line that requires the correct order of manufacturing processes to be taken. If the student answers a question incorrectly, the student is given an explanation of why and may even include consequences of their actions if they were performed in a real-life situation. A good example of this is if a student incorrectly chooses the wrong length for a given material type, which not only produces waste of the stock, but forces the need for a company to spend extra on that material. In conclusion, this simulation is a great interaction tool that helps the instructor teach the students proper technique and processes to machine given parts through hand and eye coordination, spatial recognition, critical problem solving, and attention to detail.